Hey guys, hope everyone's having a great day. Uh, about a year ago, I made a video on the progress of my rookie collection, my graded rookie collection that I started, um, essentially going back to the years 2000 to 2020. Um, I, I wasn't really collecting, I mean, I, I collected in the mid, like in, around 2010 to 2012, and then got out of it in high school and college. Um, but I got back into it in 2021 and didn't really have any cards, so figured I'd go back and kind of try to play some catch up. So got a, it's the collection I've been working on for the last year and a half. It started halfway through 2021-ish. I, I realized I wanted to start on this project. So this is basically a year and a half report. I did, like I said, I did a video about a year ago with some progress, um, but it's grown a lot since then. I've checked a lot of players and cards off the list. Uh, essentially just getting my favorite rookie of all the guys I think are going to be important, like, you know, Hall of Famers, some of my favorite players, etc. Um, so this is the stack right now. Um, again, this is only 2000 to 2020. Uh, I've got another collection that's, you know, the stuff from 2021 on, and those are going to get sort of cycled into the collection as they the players kind of prove themselves a little bit more. But for now, this is what we're working with. I'm really, really close to completing this project, actually. I've got about six cards left, six guys that I still need, and I know the exact cards I want of those guys. So if you have any of them in mind and they're not in this stack, I'm probably still trying to pick them up. Uh, don't worry. But there are some guys I'm leaving off the list. There's uh, I went through actually today and thought about it, and there's there's about six guys that I'm just not including in my collection for various reasons. Maybe I'll go over those once the collection's complete. Um, and then there's about four guys that I'm sort of on the fence about, so that could change. Um, so I, I just wanted to go over what I've got as of now, and then when the collection's complete, or maybe in a year from now, if it's still not complete, I'll just make another progress video. Um, without further ado, I know it's a bit long-winded, but we're going to get into the collection. Some really nice stuff here. Got two big cards in very recently, so uh, I'll share those when we get to them. Uh, so starting off, I'm going in reverse chronological order. So starting in 2020, we've got Bo Bichette, 2020 Select Tie-Dye Rookie Card. Really, really nice shot. Nice Rookie Card logo right there. Tie-Dyes are one of my favorite parallels ever. And those are super short printed, number to 20 right there. So very happy to have a, a nice Bo Bichette like that. Next up, a bit of a controversial one. Uh, just picked it up recently. Thought I'd give it a shot. We've got a 2019 Optic, which is one of my favorite products. Uh, Fernando Tatis Jr. Rated Rookie. This is the Black Refractor. Really clean and numbered 1 out of 25, so very limited. Really nice looking card. Tatis in that old Padres uniform. Like I said, not, not sure if that'll stay long term. Just kind of depends on how he plays and how public opinion is, but for now I've got a really nice Tatis in the collection and I'm happy with it. Uh, getting into 2018, we've got a nice Ozzy Albies. This is the Father's Day Blue, number 250. So a very limited one here. Hard to tell on the Father's Days and the Mother's Days of 2018 on a lot of the cards, this one included, but got this for a really good price. I know it's an 8, but it's a, it's a rare card of Albies, and I think he's going to be one of the better second basemen all time, if not you know one of the best, the way he's hitting. Um, Next up, this is one of the recent pickups. This was a huge pickup I got uh, in, I think, this past week, actually. Uh, just one of the big guys on my list finally got it out of the way with some of the, the money I had at the end of the year. So picked this up in a, a possibly the lowest market we'll see of him in a while. 2018 Topps Chrome Update Juan Soto X-Fractor Rookie. I think the X-Fractor looks really, really good. Um... Numbered to 99, so not a ton of numbered chrome rookies for Soto. He's only got the refractor, the X-fractor, and then the, a gold, a red, and the super, I believe. So very, very happy to pick up the X-fractor. Very unique-looking parallel of Soto's. And, you know, he's he just got traded to the Yankees, so people are expecting some big things from him there. That card could uh, go up in value long-term quite a bit. Next up, we've got jumping all the way to 2015, actually. Uh, there's some guys in 2017 that I, I have yet to pick up, but uh, eventually I will. But getting to 2015, we've got one, and that's Francisco Lindor, the flagship Snow Camo. This is a very unique parallel they had. This is numbered to 99. Um, they've done camo variants in the past, this one included. This is the only year that I know of that they did the Snow Camo. I think it looks really good. 
Uh, they started doing Memorial Days, obviously, after that. And that's kind of what we have now. But I think this looks really nice. Number 299, sort of a vintage stock replacement and a lot better than a vintage stock, in my opinion. So very happy to have that. He's on the Mets. That's part of the reason I've got it. And I also think he has a shot at Hall of Fame. So uh, we'll have to see on that one. But a couple 2014 rookies now. We've got the flagship. I need to clean this slab off. Sorry about that. That's on the uh, the slab. Um, but that's a Mookie Betts red hot foil rookie card. Really, really nice looking card. I love the color match with the Red Sox. Um, Mookie's a guy I would spend a lot of money on. I just, his cards are so expensive, the, the better looking ones. So I think this one from Flagship really does it for me. Very nice looking card. Not numbered, but again, the color match is, is beautiful on that. I'm a sucker for color matches. I just got to clean that slab a bit. Uh, really happy with that one. One of the, the better players of our era, this era. Next up, the other 2014 rookie we've got. One of my favorite looking cards ever. I love this one. Love this player. This is a 2014 Chrome Update Jacob DeGrom Gold Refractor. Just an incredible looking card. Got this when he got hurt the last time. Um, the shine is crazy. The colors, the, the blue, orange, gold all work really well on this card. Pretty iconic one. Numbered to 250. One off the jersey number. 47 out of 250. Just think this card is really, really nice. Uh, I used to kind of PC DeGrom and Alonzo, and then my focus shifted toward this rookie collection, and I started selling a bunch of stuff to fund it. So to have a really nice DeGrom rookie is is pretty important to me. He's one of my favorite players ever, possibly. I think he's number two right behind uh, Pools. So very happy to have that one. Next up, we've got a 2012 Tops Update Bryce Harper. This is the Gold Sparkle. Another short printed non-numbered parallel, but a really, really nice looking one. This is kind of the flagship rookie to go for because his better ones are short prints and uh, they're pretty tough to get. At least one of them is very tough to get. I think this still looks really, really nice. And eventually, um, I, I think I would like to upgrade to a Chrome parallel if the prices come down. But for how much they are, I think they cost a bit more than I'm willing to spend on a Bryce Harper rookie right now. So I'm I'm happy with that gold sparkle for the time being. Uh, I've got three Beckett's Labs in here, these next two included, and I'm actually sending them off to PSA in my next order to get crossed over. Uh, I just want to keep my whole rookie collection PSA just for consistency's sake. Um, but they do look nice in these Beckett's Labs. Uh, this first one is a 2011 Tops Update Paul Goldschmidt Cognac Rookie. Another short printed, non-numbered parallel but this one looks really, really nice. It's a true gem 9.5 all the way around. Very, very nice card. I'm hoping this crosses to a 10, but it'll likely be a 9. Um, still just a really nice looking card. Paul Goldschmidt has been so good for so long. Very consistent. Um, big hitter. So happy to have that in the collection. I think uh, a lot of people like him. He's kind of underrated. Uh, next up. Another one of the, my favorite looking cards in my collection. 2011 Topps Finest. Freddie Freeman Gold Refractor. The golds from Finest and from Topps Chrome this year really uh, look really, really good. Pretty iconic sets with people chasing Trout, but you can't forget about Freddie Freeman. Numbered to 50, you know, Hall of Famer, really great guy, even though he's on the Dodgers now and not the Braves. I still think uh, a lot of people really, really like him. Just a great player and uh, incredible looking card right there. Hoping that crosses to a 9, you never know, though. Won't be disappointed with an 8. It's a, a tough-to-find card. Uh, next up is the other card I got in very recently, within the last few weeks. I tr actually sold a couple of the cards I had in this collection to get this one. Uh, I, I knew I wanted to trade up to this, so I went ahead and did it. Found a nice one on eBay. Uh, this is a 2011 Tops Update iconic card. Mike Trout Diamond Anniversary Rookie. This card looks so good. It's my favorite Trout rookie. I love the rainbow foil on the name as well as this little diamond design and the Topps Diamond Anniversary logo. Um, big rookie card. Iconic image, of course. Um, very, very nice looking card. Really happy with that. 2011 is one of the best Topps designs. Obviously, Mike Trout, one of the best players of the 2000s. So had to get that, and I'm extremely happy to have that now. Next up... Going into 2010, we've got one from 2010. This is the uh, 2010 Topps Chrome Buster Posey Green Refractor Rookie Card. It is extremely hard to find, even though it's numbered to 599. Uh, this is his only numbered Topps Chrome Rookie. Um, you can only get it Wrapper Redemption. 
and there's really, I don't think many of these were redeemed. I want to say the total pop is under 200 in any condition for this uh, between all of the companies. That could be wrong. Uh, someone might want to check me on that, but I think it might be around 200. So uh, not even 599 of these out there, but just a beautiful looking card. Posey, I think, deserves Hall of Fame. He's got so many accolades. It's crazy. Uh, really, really big fan of that card. And again, they don't pop up that often. Next up, 2008 Topps Chrome. This is a, a really nice one. Joey Votto, he's still playing, hopefully, um, but the Reds did let him go. Uh, this is a 2008 Topps Chrome Copper Refractor rookie card, and these are numbered to $5.99 as well, kind of like that Posey Green, um, but really nice looking card, I thought. This uh, wouldn't look as good as it does, just being it's a copper-colored refractor, but the shine is really crazy on it. I think it goes pretty well. Uh, it's grown on me. Again, not super easy to find, even though it is numbered to $5.99. Um, Joey Votto, future Hall of Famer, in my opinion, very... Uh, good prime on base machine so happy to have that one stay with the reds this whole career that's always a big plus um, speaking of staying with the same team for their whole career this one is uh, one of my favorite cards 2008 tops chrome red hot rookies uh clayton kershaw a few good names in this set but kershaw's probably the best i used to have the evan longoria autograph of this card but uh obviously he's Sort of falling off after he left the Rays. Still a potential Hall of Famer, but Clayton Kershaw, obvious Hall of Famer, best pitcher of our generation. Uh, even as a DeGrom fan, I'm willing to say that. Such an incredible guy. Postseason, not too great, but regular season stats are incredible. Red Hot Rookie, super awesome card. Obviously, super OC on the back, but the front looks flawless, so that's, that's why I'm not too uh, worried about this one. Love, love the look of this card. And then uh, two left here. We've got, moving back to 2006, we've got a Topps Chrome Black Refractor of Justin Verlander. Really happy with this one. Uh, picked this one up on purpose. My favorite one. The Black Refractors from this year are crazy. The shine is amazing. It's a little different than any other cards I've seen. Um, kind of have to see them in person to, to know what I mean. But just a beautiful looking card. I know some people will say uh, it's not the true rookie. There's a million rookies of Verlander. Just they didn't have the... The rules ironed out back then, but this is still my favorite looking one. Um, just a fan of this 2006 design in general. Like I said, the shine is crazy. Number to 549, Black Refractor, I'm a big fan of. So uh, really cool to have a Verlander. And then moving on to uh, the number one card in my collection and the oldest one. So it just kind of worked out that it's at the end. Best card in my collection, favorite card in my collection by far. Favorite player of all time. This is the 2001 Topps Chrome Traded Albert Pujols Retrofractor. Bit of a uh, marks on the case of the team bag there. I'll have to do some cleaning again. But just an incredible card. I mean, like I said, my favorite player of all time. His best rookie, in my opinion. This is the Chrome Traded Retrofractor, not the late edition. So uh, looks really, really good, in my opinion. Kind of just a regular refractor look to it i think the the print run is stated around 500 on these uh that that could be wrong but that's what i've i've gathered um but just an incredible card incredible player and the centerpiece of my entire collection very happy to have that so uh there you go that's that's what we're looking at now and again I'm, i've got six on the radar for sure and then a, a four ish guys that could you know come around I, I might pick up in between now and next year but uh, just happy to get this out a year after my last one, and then hopefully in a year I'll have an even better updated collection, hopefully even a complete one. So let me know what you guys think. Let me know what your favorite cards were, and I'll see you again very soon.